good youtube it's your boy real well drive here back with another video and today we're going to talk about a few things on how you could possibly afford a scat pack charger wide body or just a charger challenger in general um so number one get a job get a job you know if, if if you want things and you're not wealthy or rich um and you don't have everything handed to you and you know you got to get it out the mud got to start somewhere you know just get a job you know that's number one simple as that um you know and you want to save your money too you know try not to have you know so many bills in life you don't want to owe anybody money at all so luckily you know um it's pretty much my only debt that i really have um so yeah, you just get a job, you know, that if you start out small, man, you, you don't have to have a, a good high paying job first come around, you know, in life, you know, even with me, how I, how I think of it, you always want to level up. You always want to level up with, with, um, with yourself and within yourself. So, um, so yeah, rule number one, you know, just get a job. Um, number two is, you know, you always got to start somewhere, always got to start somewhere small. So when my first car, um, as soon as I graduated, um, I was 18, you know, and I had got me a, a, a Mazda 3. It was a Mazda 3 2011. This was before I even knew about cars or anything like that. But yeah, it was a Mazda 3 2011 and uh, it was a fairly cheap car. You know, you want to always start off small, get you a cheap car, you know, for my young, uh, my young subscribers or, you know, the young people that are listening out here. Um, or even, you know, for older individuals, you know, I'm 21 years old, so it don't really it, just start off small because, you know, either way, if you try to get this car, most likely you're not going to get approved because they want to see history. They want to see payment history. And, you know, just for that 2011 Mazda 3, my interest rate, my APR was like almost 12%. So it was almost 12%. For that car 12 percent apr and now with this car it is 3.4 3.5 around their uh interest rate so yeah that dropped a lot but you know they want to see some type of um payment history so you always want to start small um get a little small car you know if it's something that you want if you're something that you really want to get then you're going to work to get it you know what i'm saying so, you know, always start small, start with a small car. Um, co-signing can help. Co-signing can help with getting a Charger or a Challenger. Um, because with that co-sign, uh, if that person has a high um, credit, credit score, then it, um, it makes your chance of getting approved two times higher than if you didn't co-sign it. Um, I didn't co-sign my car with anyone. It's, you know, it's all me, you know, I saved up my money, uh, and put that down on the down payment, you know, it helped out with, um, helped out a lot with my monthly payments. Um, but yeah, co-signing can help you get approved for that car. But the only downside of you co-signing, you know, is finding someone to co-sign. And secondly, if you can't keep up th with those payments, that person who was co-signed is obligated to make those payments. So, you know, it's all about being responsible because these cars, these cars do not come cheap. And it's the summertime. So, you know, there's high, there's high demand and low supply, especially with the Dodge chip shortage. So, you know, they're going to start taxing these things. Um, but yeah, uh, a uh, co sign can help you get these cars. Um, just build your credit up. Soon as you turn 18, you can even, uh, before you even turn 18, you know, talk to your parents, have a sit down with your parents, uh, you know, have them talk to you about um, credit, difference between credit and debit. You can be an authorized user under your parents if you are under 18, but it depends on that credit, uh, it depends on that credit union some some can start early as being 13 years old some can start as being six the latest 16 years old but you know if you're young and you want these cars um you know it's good to ha start building your credit up and learning things about credit <clears throat> um 
but yeah, when I got my Mazda, my credit score was about 645, uh, touching 700. So I kind of started a little early because, you know, I knew it was a good thing to have built up my credit. But, you know, um, so yeah, get you a credit card. You know, you don't have to buy big thing, big things. You don't want to pretty much go over a 25%, 30 limit of, you know, spending your credit card. Um, but what I do with my credit card, I just use my credit card on gas, you know. Um, also like things on Netflix, Hulu, you know, the monthly subscriptions, just little things, little ways to build up your credit, little things like that. But mainly I use it for gas, but yeah. Um, so yes, like I said, get a job, but you know, there's other things like diff getting different, uh, streams of income. Um, so I used to, I used to play around with the stocks and the Forex and the crypto, but everything that I'm holding right now is just longevity for the long term. So I don't have really any other uh, streams of income other than my job where I work. So I do, I do work about, um, uh, I want to say about, about 50 hours a week, rough guess. I go in at four o'clock, get off at two 30, you know, it was a schedule I had to get used to, but I don't mind getting off of work at two 30 though. to enjoy the rest of my day, you know, make videos like these. Um, but yeah, guys save your money. You know, if your credit is not all the way there, you know, as long as it's over about as long as it's around 650 around there, you know, they're going to work with you. They're going to, you know, they're going to talk to you, um, you know, save your money, put a decent down payment down around 4,000, 5,000. You can even put 2,000 down. But if you want that payment to not be so high, then the more money you save, then the more chance you get of your monthly payments not being that high. Um, so me, I put down $8,000 down, you know, I was not playing around. I, I've been wanted this car since last year, but then what happened last year? COVID hit because I wanted this car around summertime last year, the 2021, but COVID hit, I, I didn't work, you know, it was bad, but you know, all glory to God, you know, we all overcome, uh, stages in life. We all overcome obstacles and, you know, we see to live another day and we prosper. Also, um, what you want to finance monthly. So I finance 72 months. Um, but it also depends on how you want to finance. It could be 92 months, 72 months. That also is going to play a role in your, uh, monthly payments. So that's another thing, you know, it's also mandatory to add gap. That's only like $3 extra a month. Uh, I didn't get any extra insurance or anything like that. Just pretty much the gap insurance. Um, you know, always shop around too. You always want to shop around different dealerships. Um, that's what I did. You know, there's not a lot around here, but I went to like three different de uh, de dealerships. Uh, the first one I went to was pretty good. The second one, uh, in order for me to start the process payment on um, ordering the car, they told me to put two thousand dollars down, which I was like, no way. The other dealership wanted to put a thousand dollars down, which I had no problem, so I did that. But, you know, it depends on the location that you're in, too. I'm on the west side. I'm in Washington State. So, you know, um, the cost of living is is high out here. And I know on the west, on the east side, um, back home, my brother, he got a, a scat pack wide body. The prices are different. So if I would have got one over there, it would have been cheaper than what I got over here. But, you know, just know your location. It's okay to go out, out of state, you know, to shop around, too. But, you know, always shop around, go to different dealerships and, you know, always do your research when it comes to getting a car, you know, getting any type of car. You know, there could be some incentives or rebates on that car that they might not even know about. So, you know, there's a um, there's a website you can look up incentives. They change monthly. So when I ordered my car, <clears throat> I missed out on a four thousand dollar rebate that Dodge had at that time. I missed out on it. So I couldn't get the $4,000 off, but before I signed all the paperwork, um, I looked, I looked up incentives and they had a $2,000 incentive. So I, I told them about that and they, they added that on. So, you know, just always do your research and, you know, incentives and rebates, they change monthly. So, you know, it's always good to shop at the end of the month as well, because the dealership have a quota they have to meet on how many cars they sell too. So, you know, it's easier to push them around a little bit. You know, you just just cut, go in there and let them know that, you know, you, you know what you're talking about, even though you might not know all the things that you're talking about. But, you know, just come prepared and know everything about the car. Um, look online and see what the car is going for. Different things like that. 
but you know we come with these cars there's other different things that come with it other than just purchasing the car you know you have the uh, maintenance you know the tires the gas you know the brakes oil change you know if you if you want to even you know add a diffuser or you know different things that, that i'm gonna do you know have to, you have to take that in accountability when purchasing this car you know number one thing is gas um for me over here it's about 65 bucks to fill it up you know about 65 70 bucks to fill it up this tank but you know i don't drive i don't drive this car a lot to be filling up the tank all the time you know it's always good to have a uh, another car like a, a daily driver's type of car when having these cars you know so you won't have to uh, put gas in it all the time you know <clears throat> so always have to have it's always good to have another car on the side that's a, that's why another thing you know if you start off with a, a little car and you make those payments on it then you get this car you can either trade it in or you can keep that car and have this car and then just use the other car you know mainly drive and you could use this car on the weekends or when you just feel like popping out and driving it, you know? So it's always good to start off with a, uh, you know, a little car. Another thing, patience. You have to have patience when getting these type of cars, whether it's a Camaro, a Mustang, a Charger, Challenger, you know, you have to be patient because, you know, um, with my process, you know, like I said, I've been wanting this car since last year and i couldn't get it and you know i recently got a job over here you know it's, it's a decent paying job um you know i work a lot of overtime hours but you know just having patience because it took me 11 weeks to get this car and i've been wanting this car for about a year and a half now you know but it's finally here you know just patience but also another thing that taught me with patience is when i ordered this car you know i saved up a lot of a lot of money that i had over um that I had over my down payment. So, you know, um, another thing is, you know, watch, watch where your money's going, watch what you're doing with your money. Cause a lot of times, you know, it's, you spend money on things you don't need. You spend money on things that you just spend money on. Like this car isn't a need, it's a want. So this car is the only thing that I really, you know, is gonna really spend my money on. You know, I'm not really a materialistic person. You know, I don't really be buying all these fancy clothes and stuff, you know, so it was a lot more easy to save money. But like I said, if you really want it, if you really want to get something and you really want something, you're going to have to put aside other things that you usually spend your money on unless it's bills. But, you know, so, yeah, it was a lot more easy to uh, save my money up when getting this car because, you know, I don't really go out that much. The only thing I really spend money on is food. But you can save a lot more money getting groceries, though, too. Another thing, another important thing to tell you guys is. We gonna take a little stroll. We gonna take a little stroll, y'all. We gonna take a little stroll. But it, can have, it, it could be anybody to have coastline for you. Anybody. You know, you just, you just gotta be a trustworthy person. Now, rounding up your payments can help pay the car a lot more quicker, too, as well. And, you know, refinancing after a year can um make your payments and your apr lower but then you just have to pay the car a lot but you know uh what else do we have here i wrote down a lot of people don't talk about leasing it's not bad to lease man it's not bad to lease if you really think about it you know and you know say that new year comes out and you want that new year of a car you know and you lease a contract for about one year you know you can your, your payments most likely will be also cheaper than your uh monthly payments for financing so you know it's never a bad idea to, uh, to lease you just can't do mods to the car that you want to do um if you do then you'll just be charged after that leasing contract and you also have a limited amount of miles you can drive i think it's like 10 to 15 thousand miles a year but you know just say if you you know you lease that car for a year and then the 2021 comes out and you want to lease the newer car you can or if you want to lease a hellcat or lease different cars you know you don't want to keep that car anymore you know you can lease different cars so you know it's, it's not a it's not a bad thing to if you want to lease a car you know some people think oh you lease the car then you know that's that's that stupid type thing or you know you're it's actually smart so i was actually thinking about leasing a hellcat but you know i want to do things to the car you know i want i want to share things with you guys that when i what i um do to the car you know but yeah leasing isn't bad at all you know it's actually might be a little smarter 
Um, but yeah, just, you know, do what you guys want to make you happy, you know? If I leased this car, I wouldn't be ashamed to say that I leased it, you know? Because, you know, it has its perks of leasing this car and it has its cons. Same thing, same as anything else in the world does, you know? But um, I just want to show you guys something real quick. I just want to show y'all something real quick, man. Man, this will be all right. Another thing is insurance. Insurance, I'll be talking about insurance in another video. That's a different uh, gateway. But, um, what else? It's a little summer. Yeah, start small. You know, you want to start off small, get a small little car, you know, for the youngest, man. You know, that's what I did. It's, it's, never, it's never wrong to start small to get something great, you know? You gotta, you gotta start that snowball small, and you know, to get it big, you know, small snowball effect. Just thinking of it like that. One more thing I forgot to leave out is when you're trying to get approved, go through your bank first, a credit union. Go through your bank and see if you can get approved through your bank because that's what I did. You know, you'll you'll end up receiving a cashier's check if you do get approved, and I received a cashier's check and I gave it to the dealership. Um, but yeah, see if you can get approved through your bank only because you don't want the, the the dealerships to run your credit through four or five different credit unions when their rates could be higher than your rates for your dealership, you know? That's what happened with me. You know, I applied through my dealership, I got approved, and then um, I asked to see what rates they were gonna offer me if I let, if I let them, the dealership, run my credit and it was definitely different rates you know I, I had lower rates going through my bank than with the dealership and also you know did not risk them running my credit through different banks as well i only got my credit ran one time and that's through my bank so that's another thing guys if if you don't want your credit score to drop you know any more than it is with you know your bank running it then don't let you know the dealership run it Yeah, that's another thing, you know, check your credit through your bank. See if you can get approved through your bank because you don't want them going through your credit. But yeah, POV coming soon, y'all. POV coming soon, man. We're going to go through some tunnels, man. You know, we're going to take a nice little drive, man. Cause I, and, and the audio is going to be nice, too. And it shoots in uh, 4K, so it's a little GoPro. But yeah, man, thank y'all for watching my videos. Like I said, if y'all got any more questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments down section below. On the road to 100, on the, on the road to 100 subscribers, man. You know, thank y'all for watching my videos and stay tuned. If, if y'all got any more video ideas for your boy, let me know. Y'all have a good rest of y'all day. Peace.